Hey guys, it's Chelsea Messenger with Picks and Parlays. We're talking NFL action here. Raiders at Browns. If you want 15% off the entire site at picksandparlays.net, just use the promo code TREAT, T-R-E-A-T. Browns favored minus two and a half, and this one total is 54. The Raiders enter three and three straight up and against the number, while the Browns are five and two straight up, but three and four against the spread. The big news for the Browns, of course, OBJ is now out for the season with a torn ACL, a big blow for the receiving core. Uh, other trends to look at. Uh, the Raiders are 6-0 and to the over, and we've got Nick from the Insiders Room joining us to talk about this one, and I know you like a play on the total. So uh, what jumps out to you when you see these two teams when it comes to uh, scoring, defense, and offense? Well, as you mentioned, the Raiders there, they've seen the total go over in all, all of their games, and the Browns, they... They've seen it go over in three straight, I, I believe, now. And definitely in that last one, they're coming off that 37-34 win uh, against the Bengals last week, obviously. And then Vegas, it lost 40-23 to at home to the Buccaneers. Previous to that, they uh, they had their bye week. And then before that, they won 40-23 to in Kansas City. And so these these teams are obviously playing to a lot of really high-scoring affairs. Uh, Tom Brady, he actually had four touchdowns against the Raiders. And so now Las Vegas ha has to face another really high tempo, high octane offense in Baker Mayfield and the Browns in week eight. But as you mentioned, they lost OBJ last week. Chelsea, I'm a big team chemistry guy, you know, and the Browns, they were finally, finally starting to click offensively there this year. Uh, I mean, the defense, it's been a di disappointment, but Mayfield and that offense, you know, Mayfield for most of his career in Cleveland. He's struggled with consistency with his offense, finding any sort of chemistry, especially with Odell Beckham Jr. And so he finally found his groove and now all of a sudden he has a major injury to his top receiver uh, moving forward for the rest of the year. Last week, Mayfield, he did have five passing touchdowns, but that was a really crazy game with the Bengals. Uh, and Joe Burrow, you know, he also had four touchdowns there last week. But those teams, they combined to score 37 total points over the first three quarters. But then they scored 34 points in the fourth quarter. So I don't know what happened in that fourth quarter, but I don't expect to see an offensive explosion like that again from Mayfield and company. The OBJ loss means that the team has to start moving pieces around. They're already dealing with an injury to their number one uh, running back in Nick Chubb. I mean, Cleveland, all it needs to do is, is escape here with a victory. It has its bye week next week, and so it can't get caught looking ahead here and getting complacent. I mean, it's coming at a really good time that bye week. I just don't see either of these two teams, if they have a big lead going into the second half, that either of them is going to run the score up. I, I see that these teams, if that scenario was to unfold, that they would, you know, run the clock out, manage the game. And so, yeah, these have been some really high scoring games of late between these two teams. But I think the circumstances finally points to this one. It's going to go under. Well, and also the number's pretty high at 54, as we've seen a lot of these totals go way up because uh, overs were so hot early in the year. I think the odds makers are trying to adjust for that. But for me, I don't think I'm playing this one just because I don't ever know what to expect from the Browns week to week. It seems like just when they get things going, they lay an egg. I know that game against the Steelers, the Steelers are a really good team, but man, that was a blowout. And the Raiders, I think, are a, a, a scrappy team that... I think they're capable of winning this one outright. I'm just not too sure what to expect from the Browns week to week. So I'm laying off of it. Uh, any other thoughts when it comes to this one? Just that Las Vegas also, this sort of, it has a division uh, game next week on the road again at the Chargers. So this, that sort of plays into my thought process there as far as if they have the lead going into the second uh, half and if they have a significant lead, there's no reason for it to run up the score either. It has a, that important divisional game. And so, yeah, I think the schedule is also pointing, helping towards keeping this one under as well. Well, that's going to do it for our NFL talk here on Picks and Parlays. Good stuff from Nick from the Insider's Room. Uh, as always, Nick, thanks for joining us.